Hey guys, what's going on? So, a quick, really quick news update about the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, uh, global side anyway. Uh, first off, we have the LR Frieza 4 stage that is going to be coming to global. Shout out to the Reddit, by the way, shout out to the wiki, and shout out to dbz.space. Um, we do have the 4th stage of the Frieza event coming, and that is this one over here. It's an extreme agility, so you're going to want to bring your monotech team free to play, obviously. Uh, you should have been most likely, you most likely are running with this. You should have been running with this anyway, just because it's the most OP free-to-play team that's available in-game. Um, I'll, I'll probably do another team building guide. It's been a while since I updated that. Uh, but there's a lot of really good units. I know I use my 100% LR Goku, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku uh, for, well, I, I use my my uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku as my leader. Then I find a, find a friend, LR Goku. Uh, that's usually 100% it, and I'll just run that on it, and usually you're good, because I have my 100% LR Goku, my friend 100%, you get the HP attack and defense buff of 30% all around with 6 key total, and you're usually just kicking butt all the time. Anyway, it's a full agility stage, so using that tech team is going to be really easy, and make the event super easy. I mean, it's already easy as it is, I'm one-shotting almost every single like level, even the third one I've one-shotted every once in a while. Um, so it's not going to be that hard. The good thing about this, and this is the biggest thing, is he finally gets additional card drops over here. His base form is going to be available for drop. I'm going to have to reverse token mine. So that way I get all the dupe heads unlocked. And it looks like we're actually getting, um, we may be getting an actual event along with it. Which means, like what they did with the Android campaign and with the LR Goku campaign, we might get the Frieza, LR Frieza campaign. Which means we might be able to 100% him and get everything fed back to us. Now me personally, I haven't even gotten him to LR form. Uh, I, I think I have like 120 medals away from getting him uh, available for Dokken Awakening to his final form. So this event is going to be awesome for me because that means I'm going to be able to get all four dupe pads unlocked. I should be able to get him to LR. He'll be, he's already at Super Attack 10. I do have his TUR at Super Attack 10. I was going to do the grind. I'm not doing that grind. I'm just going to feed in Elder Kai's because I got a hell of a lot of them. So uh, that's my plan anyway. But he will be coming when the event comes around. I will definitely do an overview of it. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe if you're looking for that information. I'll make sure to go in depth. Let me know if you have any specific questions, and I'll make sure to cover it when I do that video. Anyway, outside of that, um, let's see over here. It looks like the 1,000 Day Celebration ticket is added. Uh, so that's why when we hit the 1,000 Days of Login Bonuses. Uh, so if you guys are going to be doing that, if you guys hit that, I will be hitting that. I think I'm almost, I think I'm like just a little bit over 100 days away from that myself personally. Um, I think I'm actually like 880, so maybe 120 days, something like that. I think it's like four months for me. Uh, maybe a little bit more than that, I don't know. But uh, when that happens, I'll let you all know. <laughs> I'll probably do a, an actual video of the login. So it looks like we actually have a special item on dbz.space over here. Um, 777 starts on, what is that, August 19th. So yeah, I'm definitely not, I, I don't have only 100 days. I have more than 100 days left. If we take that calculation, Bandai uses a date now. We're at day six, uh, 968. Um, next celebration ends on 319. At that point, it'll be nine. Oh, okay. So we, I might actually be at the thousand day celebration in, in another three months. That's going to be awesome. Anyway, this is the thousand day ticket. That's going to be awesome. Uh, with the thousand day celebration, we should be getting that LOR Spirit Bomb Goku. Uh, he is the one that's key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 100% for all types. Really awesome leader. He's going to make really fun, really, really fun rainbow teams. Uh, so he's going to be able to do extreme type and super type and whatever type you want. There's not going to be any limitations to it. I, I really can't wait for that. Uh, also official, um, well, official, not official information, global data download from today. Also, we have the new physical Kefla card. Uh, I kind of think that's kind of okay, whatever. The Metacore event looks like it's a returning, which, as you all know, is really just a whack event. Just go ahead and do it for the stones. You don't need to grind any of them out because all of them are useless. And no, you cannot grind out the Intelligence one to feed into the other Intelligence SSR Cora. All of them have in their names the attribute type that they are. Uh, Yosun Goku and his friend's return is going to be back, so that's going to be interesting. You can go ahead and get the Gotenks there for your base from Gotenks. I have not done that, so I'm going to have to start grinding that one out when it becomes available. Time limit at missions starting 3-2, completing 30 stages gives 9 stone total. If you're a daily player, you won't have an issue. And various dailies. Um, one important one is clearing three stages a day gives a stone. So, uh, as a typical, so if you're going to go in and do, like, the Hercule Challenge, you can go ahead and do the Hercule Challenge. You get yourself a stone. Uh, so, outside of that, we'll go ahead over here to the release notes. Uh, looks like the Ultra Instinct Goku, the Dokken Awakening to Ultra Instinct Goku, if you guys are looking to increase his super attack, that's going to be available in another five, six days. Uh, actually, no, wow, I forgot February. It's going to be available in three more days, so on Thursday... And then Kefla is going to be here. 
tight-knit fusion fighter. Now, I'm not going to go over her right now. I'll probably do a full team building guide. She's decent. She does. She's Batara category, so you're never going to really use her as a leader. And maybe in the future, but um, drum card universe changes intelligence to physical, attack and defense plus 10% per physical key orb obtained, medium chance of evading the attack, including super attack, launches an additional attack when, uh, which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. So she literally is literally just a combination of Kale and Kefla, which she's, I mean, Kale and Kefla, Kale and Khalifla. She's actually a really awesome unit overall because of her passive, and she does immense and greatly lowers defense. So I would recommend getting up to her up to super attack 10 if you haven't already done so, well, when you, if you are able to pull her. Uh, I'll probably try to pull on her banner. Uh, she's a really awesome unit. I, I don't have her on JP, but I've, I've seen her um, on videos and stuff like that, and I've, I've played her with uh, friends and stuff. Actually, I think I did end up pulling her. I don't know. I'll have to go and double check that. But um, she's a cool unit to have. I, I might try to pull on her depending on if they give us the same banner or not. If it's the same exact banner, probably not. But uh, she is not a Dokkan Fest exclusive, so you won't have to worry about going for her specifically in this banner. Um, outside of that, that's it. Uh, again, this was just going to be a short news video for the release. I will be doing the LR Frieza campaign on its own video. I'm still going to go over the uh, event that this came out with, the Goku event that uh, the Space Form came over here with. Uh, just so that way you guys have more information about the newest levels that were released. Um, so I'll probably do all that together with him, with his information, who he feeds into, and maybe a little bit of team building for him. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here to make sure to subscribe if you're new. Catch you all later. You yeah, have a great night.